most frequent adult respiratory infections. What should you know? Your pharmacy is informed. Respiratory tract infections are one of the most frequent causes of primary care physician consults, and they represent up to 60% of hospital emergencies for infectious processes, although they most commonly develop as a mild and insignificant process, like for example a common cold. In some cases, these infections have an important clinical repercussions, as in the case of pneumonia. Most respiratory infections are caused by viruses, such as influenza or respiratory syncytial virus. However, some bacteria are the cause of potentially serious diseases, such as pneumococcus, streptococcus pneumoniae, or the bacterium that causes whooping cough, Bordetella pertussis. Treatment can vary widely. In some cases, the infection is only symptomatic, being advisable to rest and hydrate properly to compensate for water losses. In severe cases, however, hospital care or antibiotic administration may be required in case of bacterial infection. In order to prevent severe respiratory disease and to avoid the spread of the infectious agent, it is advisable to be aware and follow vaccination recommendations, both in children and adults. Let's highlight the main prophylactic options available in adults. In the case of influenza, vaccination is not recommended for the entire population, but only for people with risk factors, such as age over 65 years, pregnancy, certain chronic diseases such as cardiovascular, respiratory diseases or diabetes, or immunosuppressive treatments. Inactivated and attenuated flu vaccines are commercially available, and although neither of them causes the disease, during pregnancy it is recommended to opt for inactivated vaccines. In case you belong to risk groups, you can receive the flu vaccine at your health center. However, if you want to get vaccinated even though you are not at risk, you can purchase the vaccine at your pharmacy, always with a doctor prescription. On the other hand, pneumococcus is the most common causal agent of bacterial pneumonia. Although widespread vaccination during childhood has significantly reduced the incidence of this infection. In adults, the Ministry of Health recommends the administration of the vaccine against the 23 most frequent pneumococcal serotypes, called 23 valent, from 65 years of age and in population groups with risk factors although some regions have their own vaccination plans for these groups. In some cases, such as in cases of severe immunodeficiency, HIV infection, renal failure or liver cirrhosis, a different vaccination schedule can be followed, using the 13 valent vaccine, which covers 13 viral serotypes, and then, at least eight weeks later, the 23 valent vaccines. Finally, pertussis is a disease that causes coughing episodes, difficulty breathing and risk of convulsions. It can be serious and even lethal, especially in children under one year of age. Therefore, all children receive the triple bacterial vaccine, which also protects against diphtheria and thydenus, which contain pertussis toxoid, a modification of the toxin produced by the bacterium that is capable of activating the immune system, but does not produce the disease. In the adult population, it is advisable to administer a dose of pertussis vaccine to pregnant women from the 27 week of gestation and preferably in the 27 or 28 week to protect the infant once it's born. Remember, always ask your pharmacist. We will help you and answer any questions you may have about respiratory diseases and their prevention. Remember, for any queries, go to your pharmacy and ask for advice to your pharmacist.